Hello, um, this mini, uh, this video is to uh, share this mini album I just finished creating. This is for an order uh, from a co-worker. It's a prom mini album for her niece and the only thing she wanted was that she would uh, be able to put the full 4x6 pictures in it. So, other than that I was free to do whatever I wanted, so I was pretty happy about it. Um, uh, I, uh, her dress is going to be kind of a peachy uh, salmon color, so I decided that the Gabrielle papers um, would be perfect for this album. So also, I'm a freak about matching my my colors, like my my flowers and other little embellishments with my paper. So I wanted to find exactly the same color as the paper, the, you know, the kind of pink uh, peach paper that's in the collection. So I did that and I mixed a couple of my indies again to be able to, to um, get the color I needed. And it doesn't look like it, but it's pretty much exactly the same color as the paper. I don't know what's wrong with my camera anyway, the lighting maybe, I don't know, but this is really not a orange at all. It looks like it, but it's not. So here I have to put the date, I don't know it yet, I forgot to ask her the date of the prom. And this I cut, and this, this one, I got it in a swap, I participated, uh, it, it, it participated in on myscraproom.ning.com. And I was pretty happy because those are the dyes I don't have. So I was happy to be able to use them. Um, I dressed up the dress form using this Pink Paisley uh, Ruffle Lace from the Persian Anthology uh, pack. And this was the, the white one. I painted it with my mixture of Lindy. And I used another one of those sprays from Carla's. Oh my god, I think I will use one on every single project I make from now on until I am out <laughs> of them. I love them so much. So, this is the first page. I used um, Tim Holtz uh, Picket Fence Crackle Paint. So this is a die cut, a uh, chipboard die cut from the collection. I stickled the, the, the green parts of it. And this is another die cut I got from the swap. And I used Rob and Bob on my envelope and I painted it using my um, super, super gorgeous um, Lindy Stan Gang color. I mixed aqua color. Ah, I love it. And inside I just put a couple of uh, little drilling spots for her to write and the envelope just tucks right back under the butterfly. Next one, uh, this is a picture of my cat. I just put it there to show the, <clears throat> the photo mat and this is um, what I wanted to show you. Do you see how cute and delicate this is? Those little things. This is the Fiskars corner and border punch. This is uh, Lattice Entertain You. Only I just did the corners, not the border. She will just slide the corners of her picture here. And it's really cute. So each page has a side pocket. And the first one I tried to do what everyone does, a bunch of a circle, half circle, and just um, put a flower, you know, or something here and slide it inside and it's all cute, but I really can't do that because first of all, my my uh, circle punch, I think it's too small and second of all, I really don't like it. So I ended up removing the flower and I just put that inside to uh, hide the hole I made with the brad. And on the other side, I cut this and put that there to hide the, the hole and the picture will slide under this and under this uh, uh, state here. So this is the first insert. Next page is this one. Um, the picture is going to go under the butterfly and the flowers 
and under this like this. Well, I said under the flowers. Yeah, it's supposed to fit okay, but I'm doing a video, so it's not easy. So this uh, page here, the picture slide under the butterfly, uh, rest on this flat back pearl, and other corner of the picture slide under this flower. And this page has another insert, which is this one. So same deal, the picture slides under each side here. And the other side looks like this. The picture goes under this vellum here. And this vellum, I don't know what's wrong with my vellum tape, but it really doesn't stick. So I ended up using red sticky tape and I just put a strip of paper to hide it. The next two pages look like this. And here the photo will slide under this and the other corner will go under this uh, seam binding that I covered uh, with uh, some of this cute trim, flower trim. And the next one, I stickled the part of the bird. And this is uh, the vellum again. I put a strip of paper on it. And it looks like it's the same paper as this one, but it's not. So I was pretty happy with <laughs> how it turned out. Um, and the insert for this one is like this. And here's the other side. I use the sheet of the uh, Graphic 45 paper. Next two pages. Same photo mat. The paper had three circles and this one had one. So I decided I wanted to put something in each of the circles. So um, I just put a flower, flower and those uh, little uh, chipboard pieces and a couple of bling here and there another chipboard piece here oh and the insert for this one is if I can grab it like this and here's the other side Those are uh, the last two pages. So here I uh, circled the photo map with this trim again. I loved it so much that I used everything I had in, in this album and now I don't have it anymore and I don't remember where I got it. So, oh no. Oh, anyway. I put a couple of embellishments here. This is a rolled MFT flower that I got in the swap. <clears throat> die cut swap and this is the last page and this trim here is sticking out of the page like I said to protect the butterflies that are gonna be sticking out and this is the back so I think I'm gonna put some pictures at the end of the video to show uh, the true colors if I can actually get them on pictures so thanks a lot for watching and have a nice evening. Bye.